Hey Genesis kids, I'm so excited to be with you today. Now last week we celebrated Easter and the resurrection of our Savior. Now today our text is going to be Luke 24 verses 44 through 53 where Jesus completes his work here on earth and he gives a command to his disciples then, but also that command goes to his disciples now. When Jesus came to earth, he did exactly what God called him to do. First, he lived a perfect life. He was the only person who ever lived on earth who was perfect. Then he willingly gave his life on the cross for the punishment of our sin, the punishment that we deserved, he took willingly on himself. And then third, how cool is this? Three days later, he raised from the dead. He showed that he had power not only over death, but also over sin. And after his resurrection, Jesus lived on this earth for 40 days. That's right, for 40 days he lived here. And during that time, he spent time with his disciples, sharing with them about the kingdom of God and helping them understand his word so that he was preparing them for him to return to heaven. During that 40 days, it wasn't just the disciples who saw Jesus, but over 500 other people saw Jesus here, alive, walking this earth. And that was over 500 more people who could tell others that Jesus really is the Christ. He really is the Son of God. So before Jesus returned to heaven, he gave his disciples a mission. But not just his disciples he was with then, but it also goes to disciples now, like us, those of us who believe in God, to share the good news. What is the good news? That Jesus came to this earth lived exactly the way his father called him to do, willingly gave his life, and resurrected three days later to show that he had power over death and over sin. Because we all know that we all have sin. We all know that sin is anything we say, think, or do that goes against God's word, that keeps us separated from God, but that God didn't want us to live that way. So the good news is that Jesus came, that when we confess with our mouths and believe in our hearts that he is Lord, we can have a right relationship with God. So part of our mission is from Acts 1-8, where it tells us to go into Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and to all the world to tell the good news. And you're probably thinking, how do I get to Jerusalem or Judea or Samaria? Well, if we take a step back and we look, Jerusalem is your house. Judea is your school. Samaria is your county. And the world is the world. We can be disciples and witnesses for God right here where we are. Now we know that God gave us the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is there to help us to face, deal with, and endure every situation in life. The Holy Spirit also helps us tame our thoughts, wrangle our words, and destroy our dastardly deeds. Because the best way we can show our obedience to God to others is through our words and our actions. So your challenge this today and for this week is are your words and actions showing others that you are a Christ follower? And if they're not, then you know what you can do? You can talk to God about it. You can ask forgiveness and ask him to show you, ask the Holy Spirit to help you live in a way that your words and your actions show others that you are a believer in Christ. Now guys, I love you and I'm hoping we get to see each other really, really soon. And if not, just remember, I miss you. I love you. Bye.